Hi everybody, this is Ashley from The Nailscape and today we're going to be doing some smoke nail art. Using any water-based art paint, a brush, and a nail tip with two coats of a gel polish. We're going to start by putting just a little bit of paint in our wet palette, which is just paper towel covered with a small sheet of parchment. You want to make sure that your brush is very wet for this application, so keep your water close by. Loading brush with mostly water and just a little bit of paint, go ahead and start the rough outline of your shape for your smoke. Keeping something absorbent and close by as well, uh, like these soft landings for squares, make it really easy to load your brush with water and paint or to remove the water quickly. So what you can see here is the brush is dry and it actually sucks the paint and water up like a vacuum. And that's what you want. It's just a process of laying down and picking back up the paint and giving the impression of smoke. So just going back over here with a little bit of water on the brush and just making and creating pathways for the paint and the water to stretch out and really make these cool smoke effects. So here I'm placing a little bit more water with just a tiny bit more paint and going back in and making sure that it's a very organic shape. So you'll see the brush is just loaded with water and I just tap it on that soft landings towel to take just a tiny little bit of it off so it's not actually dripping. And here I'm going back and making sure my brush is totally, totally clean and dry, and then just pulling that excess water off of the nail. Now keep in mind when you do this that the paint and the water are going to come flooding towards the brush. So be strategic about how you are placing your brush to pull that liquid away. And here's our finished product, and it's already dry. You would just top coat this with a gel top coat and your client will be super excited about their custom nail art. No two designs are the same. Just making sure everything looks exactly the way that I want it. And removing any areas that are too harsh or too dark. You really can't go wrong with this because it is such a nebulous shape that you can't mess it up. And there's our finished smoke nail. So now we're going to show it to you over black. This is two coats of a black gel polish. And then I like to use the lilac over black, or you can use white. I just thought it would be an interesting effect to show you a color. So again, I will get better at um, <laughs> showing you the actual thing that I'm doing and, and not having it go off camera. So sorry about that. And again, just making sure that the brush is super loaded with water. Once you place the paint for the first time, it's really just about going back and creating new pathways and adding more water. You're not really going to be adding that much more paint unless you decide you want to go back for a second addition where you might have some bald spots. So here I'm pulling the water back up with a dry brush. And now adding just a little bit more paint and quite a bit more water to the brush just to make sure that if there are any dead spots, I deposit a little bit more color. And again, loading the brush with paint and taking about, or excuse me, water and taking a little bit of it away. Now that you've deposited your color on the nail, it's just about fine tuning and manipulating that paint and water around. So here is our beautiful lilac smoke nail. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe for more.